Oh, they're ready. Oh, they're ready. They're ready. Uh-oh, it started. Okay. tonight for this old bard's tale. Well, if you come here for a relaxing night at the theater, I regret to inform you that the song I will sing is one of woe and suffering, a story of sickness and sadness, a legend of focus and longing. Yet, in this recounting, there is one that does stand above the rest, one who inspired those around her to rise up and overcome the challenges of their times. Oh, well, it's getting late in the evening. We must be on our way. I suppose we may as well begin at the beginning. War of the Roses, Chaucer's Tales, the brutal feudal system, holy crusades, bubonic plague. Can't say that we really love them. So dark and barbaric, so dull and mundane, this is the Middle Ages. I need a glass of champagne. <laughs> Welcome all to Old Haven, the blacksmith dragons and armor dudes. It hands on pizza to get your daily grind straight from the sound. Hey look, it's a ruler dancing ground. Welcome all to my haven, and my brilliance you'll be raving. I'm so progressive, like therapy for crazy, she brings it to you, or else you'll sue. Welcome up to her haven, where everything is fine. Here we understand human biology, the four humors of magic and phrenology. Our boils are necrotic, our houses are all gothic, we didn't fact check a single thing. It's our hero and our nerdy friends. Their doctoral studies are coming to an end. They'll soon be called physicians, though more like three morticians, practicing their little magic spells. And while the deans are watching and degrees are at stake, we'll bring you proof that our brains are real smooth. <laughs> Stop spending all your time practicing that magic and do something useful with your life. Dad, the Yale School of Bloodletting, Leeching, and Rheumatology doesn't teach us magic. God, we learn cutting edge science and medicine. Except rheumatology, that might be magic, I don't know. I just don't understand why you don't want to be an ivy farmer just like your old man. Oh my God, just because you have a field a league long full of ivy doesn't make you better than everyone else. You ivy leaguers think everyone should be like you. Don't come crying to me when you need your bile drained. I'm just looking out for your career prospects. Remind me again how long you're a serf for the kingdom after graduation. Being a serf isn't all that bad. I mean, we make like 
three potatoes a week. <laughs> and um, sometimes the hospital, I mean, the kingdoms, uh, the jesters send us scrolls telling us that we are definitely super valued and essential workers. And like, <laughs> what could be better than that? <laughs> oh, look, there's a bell. Uh, I gotta go, Dad. Wait, just make sure to stop by the stall on your way home and pick up any unsold ivy. Fine. August Forte, <laughs> mender of broken bone, diviner of spirits, protector of leeches, the sixth. And I know what you're thinking. This is the 14th century. Why does my professor have a name from the 11th century? I promise, I'm cool, I'm hip, and I care. Before we begin, a roll call. Quinn I. Piak? Here. <laughs> Eli Yale? Here. Not named after that person, I hope. No, no, actually, um, it's Ellie. It's just an unfortunate spelling mistake. Yeah. Ellie. Oh, curious. Plus me one. Here. Plus me two. Here. <laughs> now this is the aptly named 14th century medical course, the healer's art, in which we learn the finer points of practicing medicine in a modern 1370s hospital system. Hit it, boys. <laughs> Patients on cooking to treat their glaucoma. Sighing my tablets to heal their lymphoma. Kill them with stoning if you are in trouble. These are a few of our medical cures. Hear them and nurse them to prove you are caring. And lock and box the vein maker repairing. Clean open wounds with a scoop of manure. Are a few of our medical cures. Modern diseases need modern solutions. Fresh young doctors should live in destitution. If using arsenic, make sure it's pure. These are a few of our favorite cures. Cut the arm, cut the leg, cast the demons out. We simply remember. And then you try not to burn out. Excellent review, class. Now turn your textbooks to chapter five, where we learn about more modern cures. Yeah, syphilis from brothels and blues from rivers, fevers in children cause parents were sinners, plague from light asthma and smallpox from greed. And now we live longer, there's tons of disease. Most patient deaths are from humors depleted, or from the dubious ways that we treated. Maybe one day we'll find something that works, but for now stick with our favorite cures. I'm trying my roses, say in your noses, remove your liver, not antiseptic, or via, oh 
see a problem, we find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Yeah, find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. We find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Who cares if our best cures are pointless? We find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Yeah. The beggars, the royals, they all deserve care, not simply snake oil. Forced amputations make patients recoil. Treat orphans and widows, no matter the toil. Whoever said leeches can solve your problems? Must not have had enough leeches to solve them. You say which one? I say no, nah, I want all of them. No more blood flow means you can't have blood problems. My leeches be hungry. Tail of muskox, you want one? I got three. Roll it and smoke it. The four humors, you got it, we cure it. Yeah, we find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. We find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Who cares if our best cures are coin flips? We find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Yeah, we find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. We find it. We try it, you got it, we cure it. Who cares if our best cures are corn flips? We find it, we try it, you got it, we cure it. Yeah. Excellent work, Fuss. Everyone gets honors. <laughs> now, go grab your shovels to dig up some corpses. For anatomy class. <laughs> well, I already passed my grave robbing fall. Yale loves robbing graves. Why does everyone in Old Haven hate us? like a long afternoon of grave robbing. Oh, yeah, but at least we didn't have to travel all the way up to Old Farmington to take a standardized grave robbing exam. I mean, like, <laughs> can no one at Yale tell me if I'm robbing a grave correctly? Has, has this always been here? I don't think so. It wasn't here this morning. All right, well, uh, what does it say? It says... Here rests the rod of Asclepius, the Greek god of healing and medicine. Oh, but there's an asterisk. <clears throat> Not to be confused with the caduceus, with its dual snakes and wings, which was used by Hermes as a symbol of commerce, because wouldn't it be ironic if someone confused the pure intentions of medicine with the symbol of commerce, <laughs> lest anyone deny care to another for purely financial reasons. <laughs> Oh no, there's a little bit more. Um, this rod was placed here by Asclepius himself, and none but the once and future healer shall be able to remove it. <laughs> that sounds super fake. Once and future healer. <clears throat> I got this. Wow, that's um, super impressive. Just give me one more try, okay? Just once more, once more. Different stance over here. <laughs> Listen, Quinn, like, I need to stop by the Ivy Sand. My dad's gonna worry. Can we just. Can you just give me one more try? One more try. <clears throat> okay, here, let me, um, let me see if I can, if I can help you here. What should we just. Chosen one. 
one to appear. I'm, I'm sorry. Did you um? Did you say four hundred years? <laughs> yes. Well, as this is a medical institution in the thirteen seventies, there's quite a bit of virgin blood around to bathe in. <laughs> That's why I look like a very youthful two fifty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So youthful, you young, you fresh. Mm -hmm. Ellie, this is important. You are special, and you have the potential to become the greatest healer this land has ever known. But you must leave now to begin your training. There be an illness on the horizon, like nothing this flat earth has ever seen. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, so, you know, I have school, and like, I have to help my dad with the IV stand, so I don't think I can really do that. Eddie, you must. The entirety of Old Haven and the land of Connecticut beyond is depending on you. You have one shot, and this is your fate. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know about that. Let me just ask you this. You had one shot, one opportunity.
production value was, was stupendous. Hey, so um, what's the, what's the main idea? Give me the one-liner. <laughs> you must find the fabled doctor of Yale, who has lived a life in solitude, hidden in the caves atop East Rock Mountain. You must travel there, find this man, and learn his ways. He will teach you to become the one true healer. Okay, I mean, that sounds pretty good, but um, we graduate in like a few months. Could it just wait until then? I mean, Ellie, you must go now. Pulling this rod from the stone has changed things. The winds are shifting. I can feel that forces are now at work. What has been done cannot be undone. <laughs> Eastrock, I will find the great doctor of Yale, and I will become the greatest healer that this land has ever known. Beautiful closed loop communication. <laughs> now go. Will you join me? Yes, of course I will. <laughs> Wait, I, actually, um, I can't. I, I still have to learn what rheumatology is. I have no idea. <laughs> But don't worry, don't worry. I will make sure everyone is ready for your return. I believe in you. This is your destiny. Go get him. <laughs> Ellie, when in doubt, remember, follow the Yale brick road. <laughs> um, okay. Follow the Yale brick road. Follow the Yale brick road. <laughs> to be the greatest healer the world has ever known. But only if I leave right now, so I gotta pack. But the harvest is coming up. You would abandon your own family to go chase some silly dream and mix up potions all day? Dad, it's not just a silly dream, okay? I'm good at this. You know I suck at haggling over the price of ivy at the market. I don't think you should do this. Well, too late. It's already been decided. Follow the Yale Brick Road and beware of pirates. The trek up East Rock was arduous. Many moons passed as I scaled that perilous peak, overcoming obstacles of both the natural and astral realms. I battled fell beasts, evaded knavish marauders, and avoided countless spiders. I really hate spiders. But after days, which felt like years, I ultimately reached the pinnacle. This is what I found. Knock knock, hi, I'm the new medical student. 
Is anyone there? Think fast. <laughs> ah. mm. Mm. Now think slow. <laughs> Thinking fast and slow, that's the key, my friend. <laughs> you see, some things come naturally, but some things require a little more thought. So I'm confused. You just said something super obvious, but you said it like it was super deep. <laughs> Name Stallone, which is safer at your service. <laughs> you know, we do a lot of that around here. You'll get used to it. Okay, um, so anyway, I, I was sent here by but... Angoff. Oh, I know all about you. You're the one who pulled the rod of Asclepius from the Stone of the Gods. You're destined to be the one true healer. Yeah. Th th that's me, yeah. Um, so, so how are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do some amputating, maybe some uh, trepanning, or make some potions? Oh, slow down there, old sport. We'll start tomorrow at dawn. I hope you're ready. <laughs> wow, last night really flew by. All right, Ellie, it's time to begin. Of the 
the doctor. <laughs> Fix the face in the OR. Step one is tough, you stay humble. You'll sew the wounds and you'll leave them no scar. You will learn what it takes to revive. It's checking a tighter, it's prescriptions to wrap. Boiling in the potion of survival. And I'm teaching you all of the tricks of the doctor. <laughs> Study up, brains at the top. Here's the guts, it gets gory. You'll go the distance, no, you're not gonna stop. And then four, and the will to survive. It's checking the tighter, it's prescriptions to wrap. Cushing's Pharmacopoeia. I hate pharmacology. It's so confusing. I know. How am I supposed to remember how strychnine is excreted? And how do you keep straight if leaching is done Q6 or Q8? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll show you how.
Bonnie played Dark Queen. It's boobo season. Everyone knows that we just got med school yesterday. Not that plague. There's a new one. The people on the continent are saying it's spreading really fast. In fact, it's coming to Old Haven as we speak. What are they calling it then? Well, supposedly, as soon as you get it, they start counting down the minutes on the clock. So, they're calling it the TikTok syndrome. <laughs> well, what are the symptoms? Well, so I've heard. Uh, first, you lose all ability to concentrate. I mean, your mind turns to absolute mush. <clears throat> Second, you just start to compulsively dance. And, you just dance. and it's an awful way to go, so I've heard. And then last, but certainly not least, you lose all willpower. And you succumb to the tick-tock. <laughs> it's an awful way to go. <gasps> Rula Brown, what are you doing here? As you may have heard by now, the new plague that has come to town poses an unprecedented situation to everyone. As senior students at the Yale School of Bloodletting, Leeching, and Rheumatology, I wanted to make you all aware that you may be called upon to help serve your community as part of the clinical team. And for your presence and willingness, we are grateful. <laughs> Strike that. <laughs> Medical students are all useless. <laughs> Go home. Try not to die. <laughs> Try not to kill grandma. <laughs> and use these eight weeks to prepare for and take the Good luck. As an academic institution and an academic department, we want to be the leaders when it comes to finding solutions for patient problems. In order to find new answers and better answers for the problems that face us today, we can't do that without innovation. So at a basic level, orthopedic surgery is fixing anything that goes wrong with a musculoskeletal system. The broken bones, torn tendons, aging joints, arthritis, we're looking at orthopedics through a new lens. How can 3D technology help us with all of these things? Some of that is actually redefining the problems that we've been treating for decades. Here at Yale Orthopedics and Rehabilitation, we're looking to impact well beyond the walls of this campus. To be able to develop technology that will allow orthopedic surgeons across the country or across the world to help their patients in ways that we never imagined before. No fun to prep for the LCME. No fun to prep for the LCME. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Don't forget to do the survey we sent this week for the LCME. And don't forget the GQ survey too. Thanks so much. Congratulations.
Have you seen this? Are you for real? I bet if we followed them with a camera tomorrow, their life would look way different. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I'm so excited to share my day in the life with you. As you can see, it's uh, about 5 a.m. This is when I usually hit up the gym, so let's go. Hey, so we're just gonna start off with a quick warm up set just to uh, get the blood flowing, you know? Hello YSM friends and family. One of my favorite things to do is to go to class, pay attention, and be alert. Hey guys, so since I ate such a big healthy breakfast this morning, I don't even need to eat lunch. Instead, I'm heading to the hospital to watch a triple knee replacement. I'm planning to go into orthopedic neurosurgery, so I gotta go. Hey guys, we're out here walking through downtown New Haven. It's a beautiful day outside, so it's perfect for us taking our hot girl and on game walk. Omar's here crushing the game. He's days ahead. It's gorgeous. This is how we like to get our exercise and enjoy the weather, scenic downtown New Haven, and crush some academia at the same time. love studying for anatomy. Yeah, we spend hours here every single week just to make sure we can appreciate the intricacies of the human body. Hi everyone, uh, so just a day in life with me. I'm gonna update my CV, uh, get it ready for my residency applications in three years. So I'll just show you what I have so far. So this is what I have so far. Um, I founded the cardiothoracic neurosurgery interest group so far this year. It's only been like three months. So you know, it's author only interest medical student for justice interest group, surgery the interest save group. the world it's interest group, like understanding like rheumatology too. interest group. And I, I'm hoping this will really set me apart for all of those residency applications, but we'll see. Today, I'm off to practice my physical exam skills. I need to learn how to get an honest and accurate idea of my patient's health. Wow, I've never seen someone get such great reflex on the first try. We thought about going into your own. Ain't no police around here, baby, I won't judge My evenings are pretty busy because I have volunteering and interest group meetings every night of the week. I'm actually headed to one right now that focuses on feeding the hungry in the area. favorite ways to get a good workout in, get some studying in, Anki on the elliptical. Right, and no reviews. Bro, are you actually kidding me? No matches? All right guys, I'm heading out and out to the club. There's nothing I love better than hanging out with my homies after a hard week of study. Nicole. 
ます。<笑>本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に Again, and again, and again. Freezing to death in Hope 110 in August. Shuddering with the migraines in the SHM. Late nights in the Yale system. The Yale system. The Yale system is a four hundred thousand dollar five year curriculum with proven benefits to students and patients. Using the Yale system lets you take control of your education, so you can learn in the ways that work for you. With the Yale system, I get all the benefits of a world class medical education, like learning from top experts in basic sciences, clinical practice, and biomedical engineering. Plus, I get this free iPad. We can make time to do our own groundbreaking research. And I get to take advantage of clinical experiences in one of the best hospital systems in the entire Southern Connecticut region, all without being stressed about passing my calls. How often do I do it? I don't. We've、uh, never met our PI in person. We have a PI. I can't even find New Haven on a map. Side effects of the Yale system may include never attending a single non-mandatory lecture after IPRO, and in extreme cases, skipping mandatory classes while still marking record attendance on Blue Dogs. Some people have noticed falling way behind on course materials while using the Yale system. Do not use the Yale system if you have a condition that stops you from doing work without someone breathing down your neck. None of which you would know how to diagnose. The Yale system may not be right for you if you can give an M1 directions from Harkness to Tat without going outside, or if you want to be able to recognize your course directors. I can hardly remember my life before the Yale system. What are other schools doing? Taking exams every month, every week. I don't even take my self assessments. With the Yale system, I'm learning everything I need to know about being a great doctor, or at least everything I need to know to answer multiple choice questions about neurology. Well, sixty percent of everything I need to know to answer multiple choice questions about neurology. So ask your dean about the Yale system. Med school is hard. Boards and beyond can help. This video is sponsored by Jason Ryan, MD, MPH. Please contact an MD PhD program director or financial aid officer near you for more information. Hey Harry, thanks for、uh, agreeing to meet with us on such short notice. Have you taken a look at the revised script we sent you? Yeah, I'm gonna cut right to it. In the first ten lines, you have about fifteen jokes making fun of APRNs and PAs.、But、then you have a minute and a half scene where Dean Angoff just yells "scope creep" over and over with no scene direction. You guys know we're not actually making pornography, right? 
two people in Speedos on stage. Patients were nude under their gowns. Psychiatry residents deep throating cigars. They weren't worthy cigars. Why don't the two of you go away? Home with a few small, small line tweaks here and there. Remember, this is a medical audience, okay? They're a sophisticated crowd. Hey, Harry. Uh, I have some yeah. uh, costume adjustments. I ran them by Krizza, but she was insistent that you sign off on them. All right. Okay. Let's see him. So the first change that we have here is uh, Dr. Forden. You know how he really loves leeches, right? We just put a bunch of leeches on his I'm costume. I'm gonna stop you right there. Those are dildos. They are phallic. They're just straight dildos. Right, but the suction cups can act as mouths. Yeah, I'm gonna nix, I'm gonna nix this one. So the next costume that we have is for Juan Wujusekra. Why is he not wearing shoes? It doesn't make any sense. There's like nails and shit out there. Well, you know, I think for the, for the art. Uh, and uh, we cut off like the lower segment of his costume, uh, Sorry, just I'm, so that you can... I'm getting a call, wait, wait, okay. it's fine. Okay. Can take that. All right. All right, All right. thanks, Hola. Of course. May, hey, 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 May, okay. Like, you know how we say classmates? I was thinking we could say colleagues instead. Oh, okay, we can talk about it after rehearsal. Hey, May! The rod seems a little bit phallic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we could maybe change that to guns? <gasps> Are we making changes? How about we add infants with cholera just for world building purposes? Actually, that reminds me. Maybe we could have aliens come down and teach Ellie how to cure everyone, right? We went from cholera to alien abduction. Can you kind of explain? Of course, that's super obvious. Okay, so cholera was made by, you know, like... The aliens. Could I, could I just ask a question? Yeah. Are you f***ing kidding me? It's less than 10 days till the show, and you're out here talking about cholera now my apartment is filled with from costco single digits number of days there's so much kirkland red in my apartment right now who are you all in this show actually who are you all are you the director are you the director are you the director books desk chairs michelle obama where's my sandwich <laughs> So they gave me this parody of My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion uh, called My Heart On Will Go. It's about a urologist with erectile dysfunction. I actually think uh, it could be good, you know, something about the duality of man. My name is Marcel and I matched into urology. People think urologists only think about penises, but honestly, I rarely think about penises. Hi, Dean Lizzie. We wanted to talk to you about helping us with the advertising for the fourth year show. Well, I don't think I get it. We wanted the message to be an emoji because emojis are a kind of universal language, like traffic signs or histology. Oh, that meant please gag me with a mask and inject me, Daddy. What? I appreciate that you're thinking of non-English speaking audiences. Do you have any other examples? Actually, we do. We sent it over in the next slide. I don't know. I, you know, I don't think we have enough money in the budget this year. <sighs> Dina Lucy, this is part of the Yale system, and we love the Yale system. Jack, do you know who else loves the Yale system? The Alumni Association. The Alumni Association. We both know that Yale is very reliant on those donations coming in. Every year, we love our stethoscopes. We want to keep our stethoscopes. Just give us the funds, and nobody gets canceled. Crap is a sandwich of cold shit. God. All right, guys. Um, this is Sean. He's here from the Yale yeah, Instagram page. Everyone say hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. So he's gonna be taking photos of rehearsal tonight. Please be on your best behavior. Right now, we're gonna work on the emotional climax of the show. So in this scene, Ellie is feeling scared and alone. She's failed her friends, and she's not sure what to do. Sad thoughts, distraught, downtrodden. 
Okay. Okay, and Harry, can we yes. talk for a second? So you know that I've already ordered all of the shirts, all of the playbills and posters and everything, right? Yes. Then what the f is this? And downtrodden pelvic thrusts, downtrodden pelvic thrusts, downtrodden pelvic thrusts, and downtrodden pelvic thrusts. <laughs> story pans out, I see. Will Eli, oh, I mean Ellie, become the one true healer? Will TikTok destroy the town of Old Haven? Will the students of Yale have to take their board exams in the middle of a pandemic? Guess we'll just have to wait and find out together.
Burger King. I mean, they're scoundrels. Hush. Me and the king both super know what we're talking about. And besides, the king is a very stable genius. Now, everyone, go back to living your lives as normal, and I'm sure that things will find a way to work themselves out. They're never going to listen to me. We need Ellie back. I'm just going to have to go get her then. training coming? Terrible. This is completely useless. Why am I waxing this stupid skull? I mean, it's like, wax on. Wax off. Wax on. Wax off. Useless. Useless, you say? Yes, I say useless. Well, quick, clean this wound. <laughs> Whoa! I cleaned that wound. I am the greatest medical student ever. Yeah, you did. All right, let's put it to the test. Stop a man and I'd ask him to help me. He'd shrug his shoulders, me, I'd be late. I can suddenly stand more <laughs> right here beside you. You don't need no help here. Don't overextend. I can suddenly.
half marathon training did not help with that. <laughs> Quinn, but don't worry, don't worry. Well, actually, you should be worried. I'm here because we need you. There's a really, really, really bad disease, and the king is having his messenger tell everyone that it's fine. But you, as the once and future healer, need to have everyone see reason. So oh you must goodness. come back now. Yeah, um, 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 is my family okay? Are our friends okay? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go pack. Okay. Wait, Ellie, your training isn't done yet. But you heard Quinn, I mean, what would you have me do? Just stay here and wait? If necessary, don't throw all that you've worked for away. You don't understand. This is what I've been working for. Quinn, lead the way. <laughs> about that. 
friends, Yaleys, country people, I come to tell you not what you wish to hear, but what you need to hear. I, who have pulled the rod of Asclepius from the stone, not to be confused with the Caduceus, have traveled up the mount, and I have learned the secrets of this world, secrets that you would not believe. I have seen things that would make a grown man weep. Neurosurgery residents released before 9 p.m. ED staff appreciated and respected by inpatient services <laughs> and patients with asthma, diabetes, and hypertension well controlled on first line agents. <laughs> but if you do not heed my words and you succumb to the TikTok, then all of this knowledge will be lost in time like tears in the rain. Respect and honor their alternative perspectives? <laughs> I mean, burn them at the stake! Yeah! Let the witch hunt commence! No! I should have listened to the lawn! You should always listen to the lawn! Do you have any final words before you're punished for the capital offense of suggesting that we slightly alter our behavior to avoid needless suffering and death? <laughs> Yes? Good to see you. Father, how have you been? Good, good, and you? I've been better. You know, I was actually wondering if maybe I could come back here and work with you on the farm, you know, if there's room. Actually, there isn't room, and you can't come back to the farm. <gasps> Hello, Dad, it's me, Ellie. All you've ever wanted was for me to quit medicine and come back and work with you on the farm. What happened? Do you remember this? training surgical hatchet. 
Your mother and I got this for you on your fifth birthday. You used to carry it with you everywhere you went. Then a year later, you used it to lop off Grandpa's foot when the gangrene set in. <laughs> that was the day you told all of us you wanted to go to medical school and become... A vascular surgeon! Yes, I remember. I can't believe you still have this. It took me a long time to accept that. And I know I didn't always make that decision easy for you. But the pandemic has shown me what a difference you can make in people's lives. I'm sorry that I didn't see that sooner. And Quinn was here not long ago. She told me all about how you tried to save the villagers, no matter the cost. Yeah, but it didn't matter. I mean, it's not like they listened to me. But it does matter. It matters immensely. You tried to save lives. You put people's safety ahead of your own self-interest. And I'm so proud of you. You're going to make a wonderful doctor. So no, you can't give up on your dream, and you can't come back and work on the farm. Oh my god, Dad. I have an idea. I have to go. listening to us and I tried to burn you at the stake. We should have just dropped out and gone to work for the king. I heard that he's giving a whole bushel of potatoes for a year. <laughs> okay, screw the king. All right, and be shrew. All of those people that tried to stop us from helping people. I have realized that the greatest weapon that we have is that we care. And they do not. And so they'll never be able to win. <clears throat> so what are you proposing then? I propose that we help people. That we help people? That's it? That's your big idea? Yes! Okay, I propose that we help people, that we give them hope. I mean, we're going to graduate in a few months, so who cares if some jester is arbitrarily telling us what we can and can't do? When we graduate, I am going to travel the lands and help all those I encounter. Like a valiant knight, I will help all those in my path. So who's going to be a co-knight in shining armor with me, huh? You in? I am. I am. I am. I am. Some knights we are. Let's do this. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Some nights I stay.
keep our scars where we belong. Regrets done and gone, so come on. of bloodletting, leeching, and rheumatology's graduation ceremony. <laughs> it has certainly been a tumultuous four years. Ten, perhaps, if you were trying to publish and sell before you graduate. <laughs> Whatever a sell is. I would like to express the administration's gratitude for your maturity and perseverance. It has now come to our attention that some of you were nearly burned at the stake for your courageous actions. And that's like a super bummer. <laughs> and the administration was definitely super glad of, sad <laughs> about that. But on to happier topics. It is time for you now to take the Hippocratic Oath, a rite of passage into the profession. Of course, we will leave out the actual part of the oath that forbids abortion. Look it up. It's in there. After all, this is the 14th century. We are not so antiquated as to still be anti-abortion. Now all rise. One Hippocratic Oath later. And now your selected student speaker has prepared some remarks. Please give a hand for one Ellie Yale. No relation. <laughs> mm -hmm. 